Like, but I remember being a kid in high school, remembering all the stuff I had to go through. Right? So if I'm one of those kids where my name, like I said, my name is Tavon Parker. If you go look in the gym, you'll see Tavon Parker 1221, like I'm a thousand point scorer. And that's great, right? But I realize as an adult, being a thousand point scorer in high school doesn't really get me anything. Right? Like I can't go to a, a job and say, hey, I scored a thousand points, can I have a job? And they like, here was a bonus. Right? Like my girlfriend, my, my wife now, she doesn't really care about basketball. My daughter doesn't even know I'm a thousand point scorer. Right? Like what's really important in life? And that's where your brand kicks in because your brand is what you really value, right? But it took, it took stuff for me to realize what was important and what I really valued. So growing up, like I grew up right down the way, right? Persian and Maple. And my parents got divorced when I was six years old, and I'll never forget because my brother was eight. But like you all live in New York City, so you know how small this city is, right? So imagine your parents getting divorced and acting like they don't even know each other anymore. Right, like imagine you go from growing up with both your parents, so you have one mom over here and one dad over here, but it's like they don't really value with each other. Like they go to parent-teacher conferences and walk past each other. Like they go to the same church and act like they don't know each other, right? So like as a six-year-old, I knew I was going through stuff, and my brother was the only person I had to talk to because he's two years older than me, he's eight. Well, at the time he was eight. So my brother was my idol, right? He was my role model. I wanted to be just like my brother, he sat that bar. So when he graduated and went D1, I knew that I had to go D1, right? And I'll never forget because this is what they don't tell you about college sports, but when I went to graduate, my brother's coach quit and a new coach was coming in. And when that new coach came in, all the players that was currently on the team, all of the scholarships was gone because that new coach was bringing in his own players. So in the blink of an eye, the goal me and my brother set for ourselves changed and all of a sudden he called me like, yo, TP, we can play together again, but let's go to Millersville. So I was all for it because Millersville gave me and my brother both a scholarship. Right? But what happens is sometimes as kids, our brains aren't fully developed, so we don't understand the opportunities in front of us. Because as an adult, I watch people try to get ten to $20,000 back from the government for student debt they took out from college. And here I had a college opportunity, a full scholarship, and instead of going to college for free and getting the ultimate equalizer in this world, which is an education, I blew my opportunity and ended up back in Europe. So the first thing I want you guys to really pay attention to is in this game called life, there's certain opportunities that if you blow it, it won't come back. Because I promise you I'll never play college basketball again. <laughs>